Hi guys, welcome back. We'll have a look at Look At Us Now. And um, great song. We do have acoustic as well as electric both in the song. Mainly electric guitar we have for the bridge section and the outro. And we have this uh, picking part which I just played right now for the verse. We have the chorus. It's a very straightforward song. I'll say it's also beginner friendly since we are using open chords and not bar chords. So I think this is a great song to learn and also has a nice uh, picking pattern. So if you want to uh, learn a bit of finger picking, this is a go to. So standard tuning, no cable. Let's have a quick look at the easy chord shapes which we need for the whole song. I'll also give you guys an idea on how to play the solo or you can say the instrumental which we have. First cause of A minor, I got mute open second second first open. Then I have a C major chord which is mute three to open first open. Then I have a E minor which is open second second open open open. I got a G major three two open 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 three. Uh, what else do we have? A minor C G E minor. Um, that's pretty much all the chord shapes. Yes, uh, for the whole song we just need four chords. So that's it, we are done with the chord shapes, now we'll have a look, oh, by the way, D major, repeat open second, third second. Now we are done. So let's learn the words. So for the right hand, let's have a quick look at the basic thing. I would like to use my thumb to pluck the bass note of the chords. Bass note are located on the top three strings, so we got E, A, D, bass note. Index finger for the G string middle finger for the B string, ring finger for the high E string. Now, what we'll do over here is, we'll follow the chord progression C, E minor, G, D. That's the chord progression which we're using for the verse. So I hold the C major chord and I do this. I went A, D, B, G, D. Let's maybe like just spend 10 minutes just playing this pattern. Like look at something, Maybe watch something and just do this pattern. Because we have this pattern going for the other chord shapes too. So we can master this picking pattern if you want. And after finishing off this, we'll do this. A slide from 3 to 5 on the B string. Now let's move on to the E minor chord. Simply hold it and do this. E, D, B, G, D. So it's also seen. But we just change the root note from the A string to the top E string. So we got. Now we'll do a slide, but this time from 2 to 4 on the G string. And after that, I'll go to a G major chord. I'll just have third fret on the top string. So I'll play E, D, B, G, D. And then I'll go to third fret on the B and I'll play B, G, D. Then I'll, again, I'll have open B string. Then I'll play open G string. So we got. Now what I do over here is I do a slide from 2 to 4 on the G. Then a back slide from 4 to 2 on the G. Then a pull off. So we got. So we got. And now I'll go to the D major chord. So think that pretty much straightforward till now and it's, it will be for this chord too. Just hold the D major chord, half second fret on the top string with your thumb. We'll hit the E string, then D string, and the G string, and the B string, and the G string. Then I pull off on the G string to open. So second to open. Then we'll play D4. So we got. E, D, G, B, G, D. So that's basically what we have for the verse and um, if you learn this it's actually great so let's play together very slowly look at the tab follow the tab and one two three four
All right, that's it. Nice and slow, nice and easy, right? We'll now move on to the pre-chorus. For this part, we have a minor. And after that, I'll strum C. And then I'll strum E minor. Just a minute, no. We'll strum A minor, C, then G. Then we have A minor, then C. What we'll do is we'll play the pattern. And then E minor, I'll play the pattern. So the pre chorus looks like this. It's one dancing in every chord, but just for the last two chords, we just play the verse pattern. And after that, we just move on to our chorus, and you can now grab a plectrum if you want and strum the chords like this. It's super easy, it's basically C, E minor, G. So we do 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Look at it. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. C, 2, E minor, 4, G. 2, 3, 4. Maybe you can add a bit of extra strumming for the G major chord like this. Up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, up, down. Got it. Now we move on to the verse. Uh, again, it will be the same thing. After that, we have the pre chorus, it will be the same. We have the chorus, but uh, and then we have this instrumental part, which is. And then the bridge comes off, and whenever you're playing the instrumental uh, or the bridge, what you will do is you will just play this chord progression. E minor C, E minor G. And the chord progression actually goes like this. It's now basically same as the chorus chord progression, but we just add the A minor. Like 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Notice what I did. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Just count along with me as well as playing. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's what's happening. Kind of the same as the chorus. Uh, so uh, look at us now the bridge part and the chorus will be same. So just do the same thing. Maybe you can add a bit of strumming if you want. Down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, up, down. Right. So that's basically the whole song, and then the outro is basically the last chorus. So you just play. That's it for the rhythm section. Um, if you hear, that's basically what's going on. It just has one chord, per, one strum per chord most of the time, even for the instrumental part too. So you can just do one dance stroke. Try to go for up as down, like up, down, both as well, just to like make it sound nice. Otherwise, if every stroke is a down, it's not that much spicy. So. I'll just give you a quick idea on what I do about the solo. It's more of like an open high E string along with a hammer on from 3 to 5 on the B string. So I'll play B, E, B, E. And it comes all the way over here. So you do the same thing again a hammer on from 10 to 12 on the B string as well as alternating between the open high E. So we got goes on and then after that goes to I think I think it's 12 on E and B both as well so you just alternate B E and then goes to and then you just play 12 on B 10 on B 8 on B G9 so we got
guys. There you have it. That's how you play the whole song. If you have any doubt regarding any of the part, please let me know. And for more easy, straightforward, and accurate lessons like this, make sure you get subscribed. Really helps me out a lot. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Until then, bye.